Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the channel man So if y'all rocking with Young Dolph, go ahead and put the Dolph emoji in the comment section Let me know where y'all from and who you rocking with, let's get this thing started man So we hearing that the cookie shop and Black Youngster They try to burn the Young Dolph footage and get rid of every single piece of film in that entire collection because they know that if they have to show the footage and if the video comes out that is going to show how they set young Dolph up they really try to get rid of all of the evidence if you think about it the footage is the number one main most important thing because this is going to show how young Dolph walked into the building this was somebody already with him did they throw him in there did they bring him from somewhere and people want to know what happened inside the cookie shop they're not believing the cookie shop story they say young Dolph was on the on his phone looking down not paying attention and was at the corner of the store but at the same time the lady said that he was at the counter when she saw the two dudes running up through the glass and she ran and didn't tell young Dolph to duck or get down or anything like that so this is the reason why they're hiding the footage they know that they made certain mistakes and that everybody's going to be able to see it and that they're going to be in trouble for being partially responsible for not telling young Dolph to duck or to get down or anything like that any other normal regular person would have told everybody get down i see a dude with this i see i see a whole lot of stuff get down get down get down but they didn't give young Dolph any warning the lady just ran and this is why everybody needs to see the footage of what happened inside that cookie shop and there's a reason why they're not giving it up the first thing that happened is, is that as soon as they went down there they did not actually give the footage up because it was a third party company that owned it so they tried to buy the footage and hold it they had to like actually get the computer subpoena from Makita's to be able to try to run it back but it only lasts 48 hours they usually only save their cameras now the cookie shop said that they just got brand new camera system a whole two weeks before this whole thing went down so wouldn't they have had it all caught on camera in 4k quality when their new cameras and everything like that that's why there should have been way more pictures way more footage released what was happening behind the cookie shop why was so many dudes with dreads standing in the back door of the cookie shop and then they start taking off running when they hear the shots ring out from the young Dolph like why is it that the witnesses said that they see multiple guys running from the back of the cookie shop trying to cover their face and they're throwing things into the ditch trying to hide it in the backwoods over there and then they jumped in a car that was on the side of the family dollar and left man a lot of people seen what happened but the most important eyes in this is the footage the young doll footage it needs to be released because it's going to show exactly what part the cookie shop had in it who was all interacting with Dolph, what the vibe was like we need to hear the audio we need to see what the sound li was like what they were talking about was Dolph asking them to open the stash spot so he could take his money out because they had a safe in there the word on the street is that young Dolph owned the businesses next door to the cookie shop and and basically he was coming in to get his loot because he had money that he put in the back of the cookie shop in the safe and he basically told him hold on to this until I come back when he came back the money was missing man and everything hit the fan bro and at the end of the day you got to realize that with Yogati and them trying to get him with the beef and then the greed the jealousy the envy of everybody that wanted young Dolph's money and the fame and the success it was a whole lot of things that could go wrong and they went wrong we need to see the footage because this is is why it's going to show how is it that they caught that Bentley truck driving in front of the street they got the two guys in the gray sweatpants they got all this stuff happening but they only released one picture of the young Dolph scene how did his arm end up getting stuck out the window like that what was going on in the front shop because they have cameras right there by that front door of the Makita's cookies and it's pointing inside and there's one pointing outside so the camera that's pointing into the lobby it should have caught everything and how Dolph got hit up and who was the person that was uh, serving him at the cash register was young Dolph brother already with him inside the cookie shop or did he show up after young Dolph already got hit hit up and was laying on the ground so there's a lot of questions to be answered and one of the main ways that these questions could get answered is that if the footage ends up getting released now we gotta understand that the feds they might have already seen this footage and that's why they went 
went after Black Youngster. They went after Govan and all these other guys and got them to cooperate and tell because they said based off of what the footage showed, they went and interviewed every one of the suspects and asked them, how was this person involved? How was Yo Gotti actually able to pull something like this off with the people at the cookie shop? Because they know for a fact that Makita's Raven, she was actually pledging her allegiance to CMG. She said that out of anybody, she was rocking more with CMG than PRE. And based off the last time Young Dolph came to the cookie shop and Makita's Raven running out with her phone trying to record Dolph getting in his car and everything because you got to understand why didn't they record Young Dolph when he came to the cookie shop the first time in his low-key truck why didn't they record him when he was inside the shop how come Makita's Raven waited until she was like you know what I'm gonna see what kind of car Dolph gets in and then that's when she's gonna run out and, and videotape it because the really they were trying to send the footage to young Dolph's ops so they could get him hit up man this was a backdoor situation they backdoored young Dolph. if you you got to see it there's a, a lot of ways that it happened but a lot of people got to understand you got to open your eyes and look at how this backdoor played out man the makita's raven girl already was hip to the fact that young Dolph came to their store the first time she went and she seen what kind of car she was driving and she waited until he went back ordered they waited until he ordered, got the food, then walked outside and got to his car, and then they came out and started recording him. They didn't want to record him while he was in front of the cookie sign. They didn't want to record him while he was in front of the display of the products. It would have looked way better for their business. But for some reason, she only wanted to come out and catch Dolph on camera while he's getting in the car with the license plates. And so the back door already started back then. They was already trying to drop Young Dolph location and what cars he was riding in and what he was doing and where he was that side of town that day. So fast forward to when Young Dolph is telling them that he wants to book out the whole entire parking lot to do the turkey drive in the music video. This is the reason why they chose Makita's Cookies in the first place. They wanted that parking lot so that they could do Young Dolph's turkey drive right there. All the other Memphis artists, Big Moochie Grape, Snoop Bands, everybody else did their turkey drives. Now it was for the main event, the Young Dolph turkey drive. So they rented up the whole Makita's Cookies parking lot. They were going to do the music video there early in the morning that day. That's why Young Dolph went there so early and then as soon as they got confirmation that Dolph was gonna book that parking lot and the time that he was coming the back door was in full effect they already knew the location they knew what time Dolph was gonna be there and so all they had to do was make sure that young Dolph was basically shows up too early or he shows up alone or they try to make it to where they called around and got the hitters to be already at the cookie shop before young Dolph gets in there that way when as soon as Dolph got in there it was an ambush type of thing man it was a struggle going on he tried to get him back they tried to get him it all was a whole tussle inside the thing that's why inside the show inside the Makita's cookies is so much damage that happened they said it wasn't just the that main lobby they said their hallways the bathrooms and everything had to be remodeled because of all the demolition that took place from the rounds going in from the draco and everything like that so this whole entire thing man it's a lot to it they try to sweep it under the rug but it was a lot of people waiting for young Dolph to backdoor him this is why it's so important that the rappers and celebrities and anybody in general you got to move a certain type of way you can't let the you can't let anybody know when you about to do something when you got a play going on what location what time all of that is supposed to be strictly confidential and so this is why moving forward anybody that has to deal with anything like this they got to have a whole security team and any buffering and they do the communication and they try to throw them off to make sure that you could pop up whenever time you do but the security they book the whole day and they never tell when the artist is going to show up when the celebrity is going to show up so people have to be moving more cautious moving more careful and keep their head on a swivel because this could happen at any given time